This lesson deals with a coupling coefficient. You can find these notes in the ECE 202 ebook in chapter 15 on page 10. In supplemental problem 15.1, we're going to do an energy analysis of a pair of coupled coils. And it will yield the following equation, that L1 times L2 is greater than or equal to m squared. In other words, if we use the conservation of energy, it will imply that the product of the self-inductance has to be greater than or equal to the square of the mutual inductance. Let's next define what's called a coupling coefficient. Let's set it equal to m divided by the square root of L1 and L2. Now based upon our conservation of energy argument that yielded this equation on top here, that implies that k is less than or equal to 1. In other words, taking this equation here and, and dividing through by L1, L2, and then taking the square root. A couple things we can say about the coupling coefficient. If there is no mutual inductance, then the coupling coefficient is 0. In other words, there's no coupling between the two coils. If k is equal to 1, we'll describe that as perfect coupling, in which all of the flux in coil 1 links coil 2, and vice versa. And this is the definition of coupling coefficient.